Hey, this is Professor Homa, back to part two of WD02 Software Extension Styles. Uh, we didn't do anything really groundbreaking yet. We did some formatting, but what we're going to do next is save this formatting as styles and then apply it. Okay, so what we're going to do is go up to our styles area, and if you've ever been up here or had something highlight, you go up here and it like changes the way things look. It's a little annoying. Um, these are kind of some pre-made styles that are here already. We're not going to use these what we're going to do is we're going to open up our styles palette which is this little corner area here we're going to have this little floating palette and there's all these things showing in here we could limit these um, but but for now we'll, we'll just leave it the way it is default I'll even move this over a little so it's a little closer to what we're doing okay now I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight formatting I've already done and save it as a style because I already did the work I don't want to do it again so I'm going to highlight this line here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my styles palette and there's a little button down here. It doesn't look like it would mean new styles, but it is. It's called new style. It's this one down here. And I'm just going to hit that button and it's going to ask me to name my new style. And that's all I have to do. It already knows all the formatting I did. It just needs me to give the style a name. And I'm going to call that, I'm going to put my initials here. And I'm going to ask you to put your initials in front of it. It's just easier to find. So don't use RH. You could use your initials. And I'll just call it, um, and that's all I have to do is hit OK. And what I will ask you to do is make sure that when you highlight it, it's also highlighting up here. That means it's in the style. Okay, that'll be important later. Okay, the next part here, I don't have to highlight all of these, just one of them. And what I'll do is do the same thing. I'll go down and create a new style. And I'll call this, and I think on your sheet, again, this is number, this is number six on your sheet. And this is software extension. So I'll put my initials here and I'll just call it software extensions and I'll hit OK okay and it did put that in software extensions notice, notice if I go in these other ones that weren't highlighted they're not in software extensions so I would recommend that after you make a style if you didn't highlight everything you put it in software extensions that kind of links it up so that these are now linked to that style and the last style I have to make is this general formats I just highlight it and you can just actually have your cursor in here you don't even have to highlight the whole line you can just have your cursor in here and then I'm gonna go to down here to the new style button and I'm gonna call this one I'll put my initials first and then I'll just call it general formats and I'll hit OK okay and I'll highlight this just make sure it shows up in general format so there's my styles up there I'll slide this up you can see there's RH category heading and if I click on one of these you can see that it highlights the heading the style highlights and if I click on one of these that's software extensions and if I click on one of these it's general formats so I'll know when I open your file I'll know what you you know if you did the styles right just by opening your document and clicking in it so those are the style I already made the styles formatting is easy I'm gonna go to the now you just have to know where to break it and if you look at your sample it'll help but these general formats for text I just have to highlight these and I go over and I select software extensions and they go in that style and spreadsheet software that's a heading I'm going to use the heading style it puts it into that style as I scroll down here Excel through numbers and open office those are software extensions general formats is under the general format style and then this tab delimited text and that's the only one there that's also software extension so even the ones under general formats are the same as the ones under the main categories they have the same formatting okay and then this is just gonna repeat so I'm not gonna record doing all of this matter of fact I'll pause it but I'll, I'll make this one ball I'll make this one in my category heading and then I'll go through and finish this stuff up okay I'm back working on this I'll just finish this up now I just want to show you something if you went through here and you highlighted all these and you put it in software extensions and then you're like, oh, wait a minute, computer files, that's, that's kind of a, a category heading. You just highlight it, select category heading. It's very easy to fix. And then these last things here, you know, if you clicked on the wrong one, you made it general formats, no big deal. Just click on software extensions, and, it, and it's done. So I now applied all of these to everything that I need throughout my document. So I'm just about done, except I threw in this little thing at the end just so you know how to modify a style. Let's say you wanted more space between your, your, your sections here, or if you wanted this a little bigger. What you could do, I'm just going to click in here to my word processing software. What I ask you to do on the instructions um, for number, number 10 is actually modify the style. Now, 
You don't modify it. I mean, there's ways you could get around it, but I don't want you to highlight this and change it. What I want you to do is just go in here and go to the style, and if you go to category heading, there's a little drop drop down arrow, and go here and select modify, because you should modify the style through the style palette, not directly on screen. And if you go modify, it's going to bring this up, and you might find this a little confusing to look at, but it's not bad. If you just go down to format, and you go to paragraph, or you could do a couple things here. One of the things you could do, you could go to font, and I ask you to change the font to 14 point. Well, I'll just go down here and change the font to 14 point and hit OK. Okay? And I'll also go to format paragraph, and I'll change the space before. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to click one up and make it 18 point space before, and I'll hit OK. And then I'll hit OK again to get out of this modify style dialog box. Okay, so I modified this existing style, and look what it did. It edited my whole document. It modified everything in my document that's attached to that style. And if you have any longer documents, it's a real efficient way of formatting, um, of making changes. And it's real helpful because if you have space before as part of a um, style, it's very easy to adjust space before. Because if you don't use this, then you're basically double-clicking between things. And if you're one of those people who uses double returns between everything, it's hard to edit that space. But it's very easy to edit that space. If you wanted it tighter, I mean, I could go here to Modify and go to Format, Paragraph, and I could take it down to 6 point, And it would bring everything tighter together for my whole document. I'm going to cancel that because I actually don't want to do that, but I can. If I wanted all my headings in green, for example, I could go here, go to Modify, and I think I could do it right up here, automatic. This is color. I could go up here click on green and hit OK, and I can make all my headings green. Again, I don't want them green, so I'd go back under Modify and put it on Automatic. So it's very easy to make, to make edits to an entire document by just those three styles that I set up. And that's, I think, the only thing I have to do. The, the last thing, number 11, says insert a page break. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because it kind of breaks uh, graphics software on a separate page here. And, and I, I wanted actually to be, to be together as a section. So I'm just going to click my cursor right here and go to my Insert tab. And right here is Page Break. And I just hit a Page Break. And this is what a Page Break looks like when you have your, uh, your Invisibles on. So if I wanted to get rid of it for, for whatever reason, I put it in the wrong spot, I could backspace and get rid of the Page Break. But I'm going to put it back in here. And that's all I have to do is to Page Break. And my document's done after modifying that, and it looks nice. And if you ever need a reference of, you know, software extensions, that's part of why I use this, this content. And I'm going to do a file save as. And I'm just going to replace my last name, or the last name F, with my last name, and you would use yours. And if you're in working Windows, you don't have to put the extension here. And I don't care if you save it as a as a, just a regular word. It's saving it as 97 through 2003. You could just save it as a Word document, which will put a doc X on it. Uh, most people are getting away from the, the dot doc that people aren't using 2003 as much. But if you are, I can always save it in that format just in case. Okay, so that's all you really have to do. Once you save this, you can email this file to me and I'll check through it, make sure, I'll look here, I'll make sure that you have the styles in your document uh, once you're, you know, that's how I'll check that you did things correctly. I'll check out your styles and make sure you have them in there and if there's any problem, I'll let you know. So that's it.